is the Alameda County Sheriff's Department bomb range, without which it's not too much to say Mythbusters would not be Mythbusters. We have been blowing up stuff on this specific range for more than 10 years, and it's the perfect place for us to detonate your beloved snoo. All right. Isn't it kind of ironic that we just had this build that was like born yesterday and today we're killing it? That's our usual style, isn't it? Yeah. Question is, Snoo coming through. How do you make a glitter bomb out of a 2D digital cartoon? Well, before you blow it up, you blow it up in order to fill it with glitter, paint, and high explosive. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. In the final season countdown, you, the audience, have racked up some impressive numbers. In the U.S. alone, you've watched the show more than two billion times. Seen it. It's been broadcast in 194 countries in 116 languages. Rechazo tu realidad y la sustituyo. But the most important number is 240. Any C4. <laughs> The myths suggested by you. Now well, there's your problem. <laughs> Thanks for the support. We literally couldn't have done it without you. The Mythbusters know how to art direct an explosion. Ladies and gentlemen. So if Reddit wants to blow up an inflatable cartoon and finish this final season spectacular in style. Okay, I'm in the snoo. Then Adam and Jamie. Okay, guys, bring in the explosives. <laughs> are just the men to deliver. I'm ready to be born. All right. Taylor made mayhem. Yes, born from a snoo. <laughs> With the snoo held in place. That seems good. It's time to get crafty. Hi, everybody. Now, this is a perfect Mythbusters craft project. I hope everyone at home is following along. You've got your glitter, your sparkles. I've also got tempera paint and 300 feet of explosive 50 grain deck cord. Yes, follow along at home while I make this one here. Seriously, this is 300 feet of deck cord. I love my job. This is what's called a stable explosive. Nothing will make this go off except for a blasting cap. And only when the bomb squad caps in does it become actually dangerous. And by that point, we'll be nice and far away. Now for the temper paint. To maximize the spectacle, Adam begins by wrapping the explosive in paint-filled bags. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because the absurdity is sinking in. I'm using my more than decades worth of explosive ordnance experience <laughs> to blow up a snoo in the most colorful way possible. All right, I'm ready for the glitter when you want to start handing some of that. Got him. Excellent. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> awesome. All right, it's time for the install. With the explosive position centrally, Adam hangs as many bags of paint and glitter as the internal structure of the snoo can support. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah, oh. it's hot in here. Before making a quick exit. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Ow. <laughs> it looks hilarious in there. Everything seems nice and secure, though. It's beautiful. Here, take a look. Ah, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables hanging. <laughs> it's like a party in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Redditors! Are you ready? We have our snoo. He's fully inflated. Inside his head, two and a half pounds of high explosives wrapped in tempera paint with extra bags of paint placed all inside his head, plus bonus bags of glitter. 